everyone, welcome to Watch It Paint It. Today I'm going to do a box opening. This is another Loot Crate-esque monthly subscription box and this one is called Asset Drop. Now, it might sound like I'm doing a load of these subscription boxes at, at the moment, but this does differ quite substantially to the model box. This one is the Core Supply version, Discovery. It's by, by Asset Drop, as I mentioned, and the Core Supplies is... It's aimed at the curious painter. And this comes with six to eight miniature paints in curated sets from, they say three to four brands each month. And there's a premium and then lesser known brand. So they mix it up. Hopefully you get something you'll have heard of, a brand you know, some, some a really solid paint. But they're also gonna try and introduce you to new people, new brands, new things like that, just to get word out there and make you aware of products that you maybe didn't know. They also say that sometimes you may get a accessory of some sort. So I guess that's paint brushes or files. I don't know anything that would help our miniature hobby easier. And what they also do is they include a, a, a guide, uh, a 16 page pamphlet, which helps you. And it's like a tutorial in the box and tells you how to use those new paints. So, if you're unfamiliar with subscription-based services, if you've not heard of Loot Crate, where have you been for years? It's a long time, right? Uh, not quite sure how long, but certainly, certainly been around for as long as I can remember now. <laughs> that just implies my memory is only a few years long. Anyway, that's beside the point. So, what you do is you pay a subscription fee, an asset drop charge £21.90. No, that is for their miniature box. So they, they also do a miniature box, but to me, there's no point in that. I've got the model box at the moment. Uh, what they do is the, the paint box, and that is £19.90. So it's a little bit cheaper than the miniature version. And it gets paints, which we all could do with more paints, couldn't we? <laughs> I don't think you can have enough paints in our hobby. So you pay that monthly subscription fee, and then what happens is you, yeah, you get this box with everything that I mentioned before a number of paints and maybe some accessories for miniature painting. It's all a surprise. You don't know what it is and it comes, it just arrives at your door every month and you get the excitement of opening something. You've got no idea, well, you've got a little bit of an idea what's in it, but you've got no idea exactly what's in it. So that's roughly how uh, <laughs> subscription uh, boxes work, as I'm sure you're fully aware of by now. Let's see what is inside this month's asset drop. So this is, February's box, I guess, because we're just in the start of March. Ready? Let's go. Well, here we go. So, oh, here we go. So we're presented straight away with the sort of tutorial. I was right, February. Uh, we were presented straight away with a tutorial. It's a guide. This is really glossy. This feels really thick. Yeah, yeah. That is, that's not a cheap, cheap printout. That's pretty cool, actually. I wasn't expecting that. And then... You get a note from the, the owner, the creator of Asset Drop. Tells you a little bit about this box, I'm guessing. I'm not gonna try and read this too much because I like the excitement of just seeing what's in here. But just think, so close your eyes for a split second if you don't care either, but I'll just flick through so you've got some talking about, oh, I can read it too easily, talking about some of the paints you're gonna get and how to use it. I get, I'm gonna I'm gonna close it. I'm gonna put this down, but that's gonna be, that's gonna be putting me out of a job, I think. It's gonna be telling you in a book how to use it. Hopefully, maybe I can show you in video how to do some of this as well. So you presented, it's quite a nice package. Straight away, I thought the box is quite nice. It's it's not it's not loot crate. I never like those boxes anyway. It seems like a waste to me having so much art, but it's nice to know what it is when you get there. <laughs> you can't see this either. I didn't even notice that to begin with. So they've included a toothpick in this box. That's just stuck on the lid. That reminds me very much of the... the uh, the model box one where it had a paintbrush stuck on so you get a toothpick <laughs> okay let's see I can't get this off my finger let's see what we do with that toothpick and then this is nicely presented a little bit of tissue paper it's quite pretty can't go wrong with that oh look sweeties this this is a thing isn't it do loot crate ah oh, I actually quite like these sweets I don't like many candy I don't like much sweets but those ones are quite nice sorry Benson I'm eating those myself. Now, what? oh, this is quite nice as well. It looks like something you'd get from Lush, from a high-end soap store or something like that. So it's very, very nice inside. So I thought, oh, I thought it was a piece of cheese. This is a sponge. Feels like good sponge. What's that for? 
If only they had some sort of guide to explain what all this was. So you get a sponge, so I guess we're going to be applying that with something. Secret weapon weathering pigment, so that may well be for that, dipping in there and rubbing on stuff. So this is faded blue, so this is going to be for, for weathering bronze, isn't it? That looks very similar to the one I've got from Citadel, the Nailac Oxide. So that's cool, that's a nice alternative because I don't love the Citadel version, it's okay. I can I can get I can get on with it, but you know I th I'm looking for an improvement. These two bad boys are stuck together for some reason. So we've got a green black and a sewer water. Look at these. So this is a sewer water wash, and you've got a green black acrylic wash. So these are both washers. Nice, nice. I love I do I do use a lot of washers. I do love washers. So there's two alternative shades. That looks like a really dark dirty green which will be very very interesting and a sewer water that just sounds filthy doesn't it so two washers in this box oh and these were stuck together as well who were they by because it mentions about the brands does that say secret weapon ah the brand's got to be secret weapon right what i think i'm going to do is read the guide before i before and do a summary of this box at the end so what else did we get we got some paints these are acrylic paints free paints you just got a medium green, a camouflage green, and some sort of sand. AFV greyish sand. There you go. <laughs> That's exactly what I said. Some sort of sand, greyish sand. So three nice colours. Cool. Uh, camouflage green. Nice. Just trying to think if I've got anything similar. They look a bit similar to what I've got in some other sets. Uh, who were they by? These were by Hitaka. Never heard of that. Anybody heard of that? Let me know in the comments below. Is that one of the unheard of brands? And then these look like metallics and I wanted some new metallics. So this is pretty lucky. And we've got black and bronze. These are by Dark Star Molten Metals. Not heard of them myself. Made in the UK. Go UK. And then also just a bronze as well. So this is cool two nice new metallics to try and I'm guessing the guide is going to go on to explain how we use all of this stuff. So I'm just going to pause for a minute, flick through that guide, give you a quick summary of what we got and I'll know a little bit more about it after reading the guide. Back in a minute guys. I'm back, I've just had a little educational course thanks to this guide and oh, I've got the sticker stuck on there ruining this beautiful, beautiful guide. Look how easy that came off, that's how glossy it is. Anyway, so Everything is actually explained in here. It tells you all about these paints and what they're for. So the Dark Star is a premium metallic. They're supposed to be really, really good and look like molten metallic. So excited about that. And then the next, it goes on to tell you about the secret weapon stuff. And these are supposed to have a huge reputation for supplying really, really good washers. So I can't wait to see if they're any better than the army paint ones that I use. So that, that'd be nice. And they apparently supply like sort of every color you can imagine. So these color, I can see the green black is definitely a color I don't already have. So that's a new wash we can use. They also supply this secret weapon, this blue faded pigment. So that's going to be nice for weathering some bronze. And then finally, Hataka, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, uh, specialists in military paint. So that explains these three colors and the sort of camouflage you can do. The little booklet went on to explain the toothpick is good for a few things and one of them is applying camouflage to models and the book's guide is based on that and then the sponge gives you some nice soft edges a bit like an airbrush and also for sort of blending and things like that so that's what that's for and the sweets are for eating I did not need the book to tell me that the other thing I noticed in the book while I was just glossing over it is it tells you the RRP of these paints now for the first video here what i will do is i'll go and check these you know you can't believe everything you see written on a piece of paper so but you can believe everything on the internet so i will do some quick googles i won't shop around i'll give them the benefit of the doubt and whatever i see first will do but i'll just summarize that at the end just in case anybody cares and then as i mentioned the guides they give you these little tutorials in here and these are pretty detailed color pictures as well explaining step by step what to do for their techniques to to use these paints they give you examples using this paint so this is how to do weathered bronze that's using the two bronze colors followed by this faded blue weathering agent and it just goes on to tell you what to do then there's a second guide in here painting camouflage which is going to 
cover these three paints, so that's nice. So not only am I increasing my paint range, I'm actually learning some new techniques from this booklet. That's more on painting camouflage, there you go. So that's, that's cool, I like it. I really like the concept of this subscription box. What I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna make a tutorial sort of from this guide, see how I get on, see if I agree with everything they say to do and see if I can make it even easier for you if you if you got already got this subscription and you can have a video tutorial on using these paints. Let me know in the comments below if, well you can help me out, what should I do with camouflage? You guys know what I paint, is there a specific model that needs camouflaging? Again, what should I do in bronze? Have I got a model in the example? It's a huge engine-y thing, I haven't got an engine-y thing. What would I do for that? Camouflage, obviously a soldier, but I'm not even sure I've got a soldier. I'm gonna have to see if Benson can give me one of those little Imperial Guards from Warhammer, I think. Maybe that will do nicely. Anyway, leave that with me. Let me know in the comments below if you're excited which of the two techniques you'd like to see first, and please leave me some suggestions on the models I could use for this, these sorts of tutorials. Next will be just double checking the prices, and let's do that right now. So I found on the, in the booklet straight away, I noticed they were the RRP prices. They weren't like what you could get them for. And on all the sites I found lower prices, but the RRP was always mentioned and asset drop was spot on. It was always correct. So at the end, it's still great value. Against the RRP is amazing value. Against the actual prices I found, it's still fantastic. You know, it's, it's, it's a great value box. So I'm pretty happy with the content this month. Thank you all very much for watching.